Good morning, grade 11 students. I'm Mrs. Veronica M. Dumugdang. Welcome to the first lesson for this fourth quarter in Practical Research 1. For today's session, we will discuss about ethical standards in writing related literature. Are you ready for another learning engagement? You are expected to learn the most essential learning competency follows ethical standards in writing related literature. Kindly prepare your pen and your notebook as we begin our lesson with our first activity. I am expecting each one of you to listen ultimately and enjoy learning. Here are the mechanics of the game. Decode the numbers using the letters of the alphabet to reveal the words that we need to avoid plagiarism. This will be your guide to decipher the numbers. We have the letters of the alphabet and the numbers 1 to 26. Let's take this for example. Numbers 18 stands for letter R, 5 for E, 19 for S, 5 is E, 1 is letter A, 18 for R, 3 is for letter C, and last one, 8 for letter H. These numbers reveal the word research. You have 5 seconds to decipher the number to reveal the word. Just type the word in the comment section. Let's start the ball rolling. First set of numbers are 9, 14, 20, 5, 24, and 20. Clue. The word is the citation that can be found along with the text. Go! If your answer is in text, you got it right! Good job, grade 11 students! Second set of numbers are 3, 9, 20, 1, 20, 9, 15, and 14. Clue. This is a way of recognizing the original source of information. Timer starts now! If your answer is citation, you are correct! Wow! Grade 11 student, you are amazing! Next numbers are 17, 21, 15, 20, 1, 14, 7. Clue. This is using the exact words of the author using quotation marks. Go! If your answer is quoting, very good! Next numbers are 16, 1, 18, 1, 16, 8, 18, 1, 19, 9, 14, and 7. Clue. This is using your own words to convey the idea of others. Go! If your answer is Fire racing! Great job! Another set of numbers are 19, 21, 13, 13, 1, 18, 9, 26, 9, 14, 7. Clue! This is putting together the main idea of the other's writing. Go! If your answer is summarizing, grade 11, you're superb! Congratulations to active students who have joined the Decipher game! By the way, do you know that as researchers, we must observe ethics into an academic activity that fosters genuineness and authenticity? That is why ethical standards are developed so that researchers 
can be guided in disclosing truths in their studies. These ethical standards help the researchers understand which are acceptable and not acceptable behavior when consolidating relevant data for their studies, like related concepts and related studies and even theories. We need related literature to support and identify the weakness of our studies. Writing related literature is a review of relevant scholarly work to identify what is known and unknown about the, the research topic. Well, it involves liter literature search, evaluation and analysis of articles, and writing the literature review. In writing related literature, researchers must follow these ethical standards or guidelines to ensure credibility, academic honesty, and integrity among researchers. As you write your literature review, be aware of the following guidelines. Number one, always cite sources of original information. Citing sources means acknowledging that the ideas are not yours but to the original source. When we cite, we use in-text and preference citation. In-text is the citation that can be found at the beginning or at the end of the text. It is called in-text because it is found together with a text or the paraphrase ideas. An in-text citation is found in the body of the research paper. It tells your reader the original sources of information or thoughts. Here is our example. Where do you think you can find the in-text citation or the original source of information? Is it at the beginning or at the end of the paragraph or text? In the comment section, please write your answer. Very good! It is found in the beginning of the text. Great job! How about in this text? Where can you find the in-text citation? Exactly! You got it right! It is found at the end of the text. It is enclosed with the parentheses. Remember that in-text citation, it is a parenthetical citation that includes the author's, the author's last name and the publication year. Detailed format will be explained to you by your subject features. By the way, it is required whenever that the researcher use whenever the researcher use someone else's words or ideas. When citing, we can do the following. We have quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing. Now, let, let's differentiate the three. Quoting is using someone else's exact words, using quotations. Paraphrasing is rephrasing someone's writing or ideas into your own words. And summarizing, this is putting the main idea or someone else's writing into, the, into your own words. Another form of citation is the reference citation. It is the citation in the reference list where all the sources are listed and must be cited somewhere in the paper. It goes together with the in-text citation actually. It is found in the re reference list where all the reference, references or sources are listed. Just like this example. Okay. Another ethical standard in writing literature is to recognize the idea, theories, and original conceptualizations of others. We have to acknowledge the people who have contributed to your, to our top or to our research topic or studies. Citing sources is important to avoid plagiarism, to achieve authenticity of our research work. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is copying the ideas of others, making it appear that the work is yours. Number three, be critical. Be critical in the related concepts, 
in selecting the related concepts and studies that you will include when writing related literature. Don't forget to check its reliability and validity. And to sum up our lesson for today, always remember that as researchers, we need to follow the ethical standards in writing related literature. Number one, always cite the, the sources of the original information. Number two, recognize the ideas, theories, and original conceptualization of others. And the last one, be critical in selecting the related concepts and studies that you will include when writing related literature. So it seems that you are now ready for the next activity. This time, we will have thumbs up or thumbs down person. Choose thumbs up if the statement follows ethical standards in writing related literature and thumbs down if other ones. Number one, Mary Angel uses quotation when using author's exact words. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Go! Very good! The correct answer is thumbs up. Next. Number two, Catherine summarizes main ideas of others' writing in her own words. Go! Great job! The correct answer is thumbs up. Next, number three, Jade uses... The related concepts of other authors' ideas without citation. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Go! It's a thumbs. Thumbs down. Yes. Next, number four. Kevin includes even the significant minor studies related to his research topic in his reference list. Go! Very good. It's thumbs up. And the last one, number five. Heather Joy creates in-text and reference citation when using other author's idea. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is... Yes, it's a thumbs up. Amazing grade 11 students. Congratulations. By the way, do you have any clarifications or suggestions about ethical standards in writing so that re related literature? You have 10 seconds to type your questions and the moderator will consolidate your question. The timer starts now. All right, let us have the question. So if we have the question number one from grade 11 students of Laong Baton National High School. How can we avoid plagiarism? Okay, so we can avoid plagiarism by following the ethical standards when writing related literature. We need to create in-text and reference citation when using ideas of other authors. For the question number two, we have, okay, from grade 11 students of Big 9 National High School, why is it important to cite sources? Well, citing sources will establish, of course, our credibility as researchers. That's why it is very important.
Do you still have more questions? All right. Okay, class. Dear grade 11 students, did we meet our objective, which is to follow ethical standards in writing related literature? Is it a yes or a no? Okay. We are able to follow the ethical standards in writing related literature. And here are the important references. And of course, to end our today's session, I want you to remember a quotation from Pearl Buck. According to her, if you want to research today, you have to search yesterday. To our dear students, thank you so much for ultimately listening from the beginning up to the end of our discussion. Once again, I'm Mrs. Veronica M. Limogdang from Vicente P. Trinidad National High School. See you again next time. Goodbye!